It's the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We look at the illegal charges and customer deposits. Now in January 2020, lawmakers in the bid to stop the indiscriminate imposition of charges by banks, the Central Bank of Nigeria issued a guide to charges by banks other financial institution and non-bank financial institution, stating the approved charges to be imposed by the DMBs. The House is concerned that despite the guide issued by the CBN, some banks still deduct outrageous amount of money from customers in the guise of bank charges with different descriptions. Now, the deductions are already covered by the Central Bank of Nigeria, approved monthly amount maintenance fee mounting to double deductions over time. Now, in February 2020, 26 to be precise, the House resolved to investigate illegal and excessive charges being imposed on account holders by deposit money banks and uh, banks as well. Uh, the House of Representatives on Wednesday, you know, just yesterday, mandated its Committee on Banking and Currency to investigate the alleged excessive charges on banks' transaction imposed by this deposit money banks, also known as commercial banks in Nigeria. Meanwhile, in August 2021, the Central Bank of Nigeria has disclosed at the time that so far they recovered 89.2 billion naira excess and illegal charges slammed on customers by banks in Nigeria. We do have a guest joining the conversation this morning. He's a financial analyst and expert, Shegun Shopiton. It's good to have you join us this morning. Thanks for having me. So, so let's get straight to it. How can one identify these illegal charges uh, that has been mentioned? A lot of persons are not in the know. I mean, I will take myself for an example. So, so you see some charges, and maybe sometimes you do pay attention to it. But um, how can you identify that banks are making illegal charges from your uh, account? Um, right. I, I, I think it's important to say that um, using the word illegal might be a stretch. Um, I'm not very sure that um, any bank would, any, you know, remember that the banks are licensed by the CBN and they're regulated and they're, and they're you know, ba the banking sector is one of the most regulated sectors in most economies and Nigeria is not an exception. Um, so to say that there are illegal bank charges might be to stretch um, what may be happening in some banks um, uh, to a certain degree. Um, what you what you might have though is banks um, perhaps pushing the limits of what uh, maybe the banker's tariff um, uh, has stipulated as acceptable charges for the various services that the banks render, um, and in some cases um, maybe charging. Um, above market for interest rates, you know, and things like that. Uh, some of the examples that the um, honorable representatives um, cited are not illegal, <laughs> you know, so, so I think that the public, the banking industry needs to do a bit more public enlightenment um, and explanation uh, so that people will understand what's going on with their accounts. Um, but that's not to say that some funny stuff don't happen so uh, we shouldn't so, call so, it illegal because uh yeah. we're, we're trying not to say because i mean if you we, we, we laid a background now and following that background uh, there was an investigation that was made in 2021 and you of course you have mm. the cbn saying they recovered 89.2 billion naira. these mm. were illegal you know charges that were put out uh, maybe we're just having a problem with the word illegal but what is yeah. not if you have the cbn giving a guide as to what should be deducted and if you act otherwise how do you classify that particular action we've had cases where yeah. people say that they, they, they actually carry a transaction and then they find that nine thousand five hundred different amounts and figures and the reason why this investigation is going on it's because the outcry has been ongoing for a long time now looking at the background as well you also want to agree with me that this is not the first time that the House of Representatives or the lawmakers are asking for probe and investigation. And so right now, the question would be to what extent is this? But the truth is, if there's a guide to as to, um, you know, the regulation and how much this deduction should be made, and these banks are acting contrary to that, then it is illegal. Well, so uh, one of the things, 
for example, that um, some consultants do is to help um, ordinary Nigerians, corporate or, or individual uh, bank customers to check transactions on their accounts and determine if there have been excess bank charges. Now, note, excess, not illegal. <laughs> so that's that's the that's the thing. That's just the difference I'm trying to make. So when you say it's illegal, it sounds as if the banks have committed a crime. No, they they are well within their rights to charge for the services that they render. But you know those charges must be um, uh, uh, commensurate. You know, proportional to the to the quantum of service that they render to the customer. So there are situations where I think the easiest example will be interest charges on debit balances in accounts now debit, i say debit balances because sometimes some customers accounts would go into debit negative balances um without that customer necessarily having a, a, a an official approved and accepted facility loan on that account now when that happens the bank has a lot of leeway as to what they charge so some banks would apply something they call a default rate and it can be as high as one percent um one percent maybe uh, per day or one percent flat you know they, they can it, it's it's you know they, they just determine what they want to do so what um the professional um you know auditors um financial consultants will do for you is to look into those types of charges and then communicate with the banks and show them what the banker's tariff has said is acceptable you know, and then you can take the conversation on from there. So yes, there, there, there are quite a number of charges that happen on bank accounts that can be contested. And I think that is the point that needs to be made rather than probing and trying to paint the scenario as being one where something criminal or illegal, you know, is going on. I, I, don't, think, I, I don't think the public good is being served, you know, with that narrative. I think the correct narrative is to say to people, you have to be vigilant. Like every other thing that you do, look, this is your money, you work hard for it. So when you spend it through a bank, scrutinize your bank statements, make it just a habit at the end of each month, except if, you know, you have maybe your, the turnover, the money that you're moving through your account is, you know, not particularly significant. If you are spending 500,000 to a million, 2 million, 3 million per month on your account, then my suggestion is please review your statements because some funny stuff might have happened, you know. Um, some little charges, some little fees would have been, you know, applied. And some of them might not be legal, but you should ask questions. Because sometimes you ask those questions and you find that, you know, maybe those charges were not justified and they, they, they can be reversed. Okay, Mr. Mr. Shopito, um, uh, are, you, are you, you, it seems you're saying that these are not uh, to be classified as illegal because the... Uh, are you saying because it's, it's a guide, a guide from the central bank, not necessarily any law um, that, that, that should make this illegal? And also, let's look at the, the fact that the, the guide was, was, was created in 2004, updated in 2013, 2017, and now the current one, which is 2020. And you have, you know, a lot of things setting like inflation, uh, devaluation and all that uh, depreciation of the naira as, as against the U.S. dollar, um, are these the factors that should have been considered by uh, the National Assembly and the Central Bank of Nigeria in trying to address the issue in 2022? Absolutely. So, um, um, you, I, look, I can't overemphasize this. Um, there is a banker's tariff, and I can tell you for free that no bank dares. They don't dare. They don't dare go outside of what is stipulated in that document and start applying arbitrary charges on accounts. If that happens and a customer reports that situation to the Consumer uh, Protection Department, the CPD of the central bank, the bank will be penalized. The bank will refund that money and they will pay penalty. And sometimes, you know, they get threatened with even as far as license, you know, like license suspension and that kind of stuff, if it's a serious enough offense, you know. So, um, you know, I, I think our politicians sometimes just play to the gallery with these things, honestly. I, I don't think they're doing the public any good. Let's educate the public. Let's get everybody to be vigilant, to protect their money, 
and so but, an but one would be, be, before we end it you know because we're about to end it so i'm wondering if there's anywhere that stipulates that nine thousand five hundred should be charged on a particular transaction or ten thousand naira when you're making transaction on your apps i'm just i'm i'm, I'm just really trying to say because you're already um the, the way uh, you're putting it it sounds like maybe nigerians uh, that has never happened maybe it's just a, no. a story because no. we, we know that you know the, the, the put, they put out the rate and say for a certain, a certain amount 50 naira uh, you have 100 naira you have 20 naira depending on you know the amount of transaction that you're being you're carrying mm. out but we have seen yeah. this outcry and it's not one and including the lawmakers themselves i mean so it, it wouldn't it, the lawmakers themselves in this recent investigation and panel and query that they have asked that they're asking that you should be carried out they, they also have experienced it as well so it's not just um, the fact that people are just coming mm. to just say uh, yeah. this. We understand that there are charges. But how do you explain yeah. the fact that you're being charged uh, 50,000? You wake up and see 20,000 out of your account. How do you explain all of that? Exactly. I mean, that's the point. The, that's the precise point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is when you see those charges, ask questions. Just, you know, a lot of us don't complain. Write a letter to your bank and copy cpd at cbn.gov cpd at cbn.gov it's an email address and i tell you that the, that email address is very well run by the central bank you get a response almost immediately you get a response so if you see a chat that you don't understand just just complain just send an email to your bank right copy the cpd if you like you can copy the federal consumer protection council as well you know we we, we don't do these things and then we come to the public and we say that you know something funny has happened when in truth it's Perhaps it's something that was legal. So what I'm saying, for example, people complain about the account maintenance charge um, um, uh, or sometimes the uh, ATM maintenance fee that banks charge, you know. This, you know, there's something they call it. First of all, those things are... We're, we're are sorry, we we'll have to pull the plugs at this time, um, uh, Mr. Shopito. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, but you've given us fantastic analysis so far. Uh, we, we hope to have you again because this issue, issue is still fresh and there's a lot more to talk about. But we appreciate your time. It's always a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Well, and it's time to call it a wrap on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. It's been a really, really interesting edition of the program today. Definitely. If you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Bopo. And I'm Kofi Bartels. We'll return tomorrow morning, but please uh, stay with Plus TV because we have more ahead. <laughs>